Hey garden guardians, welcome to Angel Love's Garden. Peace and blessings to all. Let's get growing. Hey garden guardians, it's Angel aka Lily with Angel Love's Garden and today we're going to do a mail call haul video with Angel and Sana. Say hi Nana. Y'all haven't seen Nana in a minute. She's still cutting up, you know. She's still cutting up, more than usual. Knocking over stuff that I'm supposed to show in the mail call, okay? So let me just get to the mail call, I guess. Nana, what do you want to show first? I think you need to show the item that you got first from one of our garden sissies, okay? So, I got a surprise in the P.O. box the other day. Um, it's been a while, but it was a surprise from one of my garden sissies. I didn't know she was going to be sending me anything, but I am so grateful. She is so sweet. So, guess who it's from? It's from my garden sis, Tasha, and Tasha Oshie Grows. Hey, Tasha sis, how you doing? Thank you so much for sending us some goodies. I don't know what's in here, but we're about to get it open, okay? Thank you, you're so sweet. Y'all, I have to watch Nana. She is trying to eat these other items. That's a clue as to what they are. But let's try to do this video quickly. Nana, look, 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 Nana, look what Tasha got her. So, first there is a card. So sweet, isn't that a pretty card, y'all? Y'all know I like cards. It says, hey, Lily. I saw these and they made me think about you and Sana. I hope you like them, Tasha. Thank you, Tasha says. That's so sweet. I love this card. You know that's so pretty. Thank you. Nana, Tasha got you something. She gonna buy her business. You know what? You know how Nana do us, y'all. You know how she do us, so. She might be here for part of the video and the other part of the video, she's doing her own thing, but. Let's see what we got. Ooh, first we got, look, it's a, a button, a pin, like a button that you can put on your clothes. It says, oh, she grows. Let's grow together. Isn't that cute? I just love her little, her um, logo with that boot with the flowers. That's so cool. Thanks, Tasha, sis. I love this. You know, I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm put it on. Know that. All right. See, that's cute. That's cute. Yeah, I like that. And by the way, y'all like my shirt. Yes. Yeah, shout out to Meek. Thank you, Meek. Her Journey Destined uh, clothing line. She she launched last year, and I just love her clothes. They fit so good. It feels so good. And her words of inspiration. I will put a link in the description for Meek's gear, Journey Destin, because I just love it. It's so inspirational and it's so cool. So, hey Meek, King TV, if y'all want to check her out and also Meek's Coupon Life. She's a couponer that I've been following for years. So, yes. Okay. Now, back to Tasha. Because Tasha says, said something else. What else she saying? And y'all, if y'all haven't watched Tasha Oshi Grows channel, you missing out. First of all, I think she might be the TikTok queen, okay? She might be the TikTok queen of the garden community because <laughs> her music is on point, her gardening is on point, and it's just so much fun. And you just, you get your snippet, you get your information, it's bam, 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 it's awesome. So I really do appreciate Tasha being in the community and just making it fun and being so, I think she's a sweetheart. She's just a sweet person. So I appreciate that. Thanks Tasha sis. And she always says hello y'all. You know, she, she wanted them people that's like, hey, how you doing sis, how you doing? She always says hello. And I like that. So hey sis. And she said this and I didn't know she was gonna be sending this. So you know, what in the world? Oh my goodness, look at here, look at here. 
Y'all gotta see these, look. I might put these on. <laughs> I might try to put these on. <laughs> Let me stop. I don't wanna mess them up. Probably, okay. So, what sis did is send us some socks, y'all. Look at that. It says Space Cat. Nah, 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 look at these socks. They have a kitty in space in the, in the earth right there. You see it, nah, nah? She's looking. You see the cat, the socks? And the cat on the socks? Look, nah, nah. You see it? She sees them. She loves socks. Um, I love design socks. Socks with design. Sorry, y'all. I have to try to keep her away from certain stuff. Um, I love socks with designs on them. I have lots and lots of socks with designs on them. I love them. I love them. And did I say I love them? So this is right up my alley. I don't have any with cats like this. These long ones with cats and they're pink and they're cute. I just like these colors. And look, it's two pairs. So it's these designs, the stripes, and the kitty cat. And I think that is so cool. Thank you so much, Tasha Sis. I appreciate that. I love, you know I like cats. And I like socks. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you. You're so sweet for thinking of me. I appreciate it. And thank you of Nana. Nana's off the chain. And I definitely appreciate it. I think, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are a sweetheart. Um, and we are so grateful that you are in our garden community. Again, y'all, if you haven't checked out Tasha Oshi Grows, Please check her out on Instagram, on TikTok for sure, and also on YouTube because she is doing her thing and she's growing, y'all. Because what? Oh, she grows. Oh, she grows. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Tasha. Sis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So we have more items that are part of the mail call. So I have to give a special shout out to this person because he's been one of my first subscribers, um, almost like a big brother person to me in the garden community. He's, he's a very supportive. Um, he's just like one of those, like again, there's some that are endeared to me that's like family. So my big brother, the bull from Bull's Garden. Okay, hey bull bro. Don't sit Uncle Pappy after me. Don't sit Uncle Pappy after me because, you know, because you gave me some of these things. <laughs> Uncle Pappy ain't going to be happy about you giving away stuff out the garden. But, you know, he going to try to steal your change, though, <laughs> after you even sold them. But um, shout out to the bull, Bull's Garden, the Bull's Garden. If y'all haven't checked them out, y'all, you really, really super really are missing out okay if you haven't looked at the bull's garden you are very much missing out okay not only is he a participant in shed wars which is hilarious because again i love me some uncle pappy he is crazy uncle poppy is crazy okay he is hilarious and that's uh, one of Bull's alter egos. Y'all gotta go check it out. I'm not telling you nothing else about it because you gotta go look. Um, also, his gardening, it is so, it seems to be so natural. Um, I think I may need to probably go back to the beginning of the channel when he first started to see how he started gardening, what was his influence, if it's something he's done all his life or that he grew up with that um and his family because it's so natural so natural it, it just looks like um i don't want to say effortless but certain ones in the garden gardening community it's like seems effortless to them or it just seems uh natural for them to do certain things and to build certain things so easily it just seems like it comes second nature to them bull is one of those people y'all gotta go check out the video when he builds um he built his greenhouse. That video was awesome. He built that greenhouse and it's, it's like something you I would think you could buy off the off of a manufactured place because he built it from hand though. All the wood, everything he did it himself, the shelves and everything. He he's been building so many different structures in his um his food forest cuz it is a food forest. It's um huge. 
is huge. He got fruit trees everywhere. I can't wait this year to see everything blossom. All of the peaches and the grapes and and all of the vegetables. He's got a koi pond. Look, I'm not telling y'all nothing else because y'all go check out Bull. He's doing great things in his yard and in the community garden for his church. Y'all gotta check him out. That's my big brother. If you don't check him out, I'm gonna send some squirrels to your house, period. I got plenty of squirrels to share with everybody and I'm gonna send some to your house if you don't check out Boo, okay? That's my big brother. So thank you, big brother. Shout out to you. Thank you for uh, having such quality of information um, and just being an example, uh, a great example of how a gardener should be or I would say a garden guardian should be because you're doing your thing bro you're doing it you're just doing it and we love to see it y'all know we love to see it and if you haven't seen it go check it out before i bring these squirrels to your house i can ship some squirrels hey hey i just tell snowball send some of his friends over to your house it's nothing for me to do that i got plenty of squirrels we got plenty of squirrels over here in the hood and i got some for you if you don't go check out bull's garden okay <laughs> Alrighty, so after saying all that, look what I got from Big Bro. He is doing his things with the cuttings, the trees. It Again, it seems effortless, but I know he's putting in work and a heart into doing these things for his garden. He's being intentional and hit, it, the proof is in the pudding, okay? I'm going to tell y'all, I went and bought some of these things from him because I had issue with some trees that I bought last year from a a particular online seller that is pretty well known and my trees died. A couple of them dying, okay? So I've seen bulls uh, trees, I've seen what he does with his trees um, and I wanted to get some of these items because I know they're going to be a good quality and he took care of them and they'll I believe they'll do well for me so y'all also go uh, check him out I'll put his email also on the screen where you can contact him if you're interested in getting some cuttings and strawberries um, and these are the items that I purchased from Bull because I wanted them so first of all, um, that huge lime I had that I named Kiki, I think she's done. Um, she lost all her leaves. I tried to cut her back um, to see if we could save her. I don't know if there's some type of disease that got to her or that was in her at first, in her soil, but mm, she seems to be done. Um, I'm trying to give her a little bit more time, you know, when it heats up to see if she'll come back. It looks like my other trees, my um, blood orange and my uh, Meyer lemon are trying to, you know, regrow their leaves and come back. But the, the lime, it seems to be done. So I needed a new key lime. And so I contacted Big Brother. Cause look at them, look at them leaves, y'all. Look how pretty that key lime is. It is, and it's growing. It's steadily growing. Look at that. That's so pretty. I always smell my trees. Am I the only one that smells the trees? I know I'm not, okay? <laughs> Don't act like I'm the only one to be smelling trees, okay? <laughs> but look at it. It's so healthy and pretty. So we're going to be putting this key lime in um, one of the 17 gallon buckets that we will be getting. Um, and so they can have their new home. And instead of calling it Kiki, this one will probably name after Bull. So we'll name it after Bull. Because we have a Lady Cheryl, Hibiscus, we have Bull. Because look, if it's good quality, it's good quality. You should get the name, you should get the credit. That's Bull's Lime Cutting and it's gonna be my lime tree. So thank you, bro, for that. Um, I also, I was interested in figs, 
because I've seen a few figs in store. A lot of them in the store I checked out last year, they look dried out. You know, they come in those little boxes like the blueberries and the strawberries and, and the blackberries and they just looked kind of dried out. So I wasn't really wanted to mess with them. Um, and online, a lot of them, they cost a whole lot. And I wasn't sure that they would be the quality that I would want because I have already am having experiences where, like my lime tree dad, okay? My lime tree was big. Um, so I wanted to get some figs from Bull and I got a brown turkey fig. Look at that, look at those pretty, pretty, pretty leaves on there. Gorgeous, this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. So green, so pretty. Yes, I'm sniffing it. <laughs> and we also got some Celeste figs, which I think they are beautiful color, um, those Celeste figs. So we got some of those cuttings. And look, this is how you know this quality. It already has leaves on it, they're growing. I have these right now these cuttings in the indoor greenhouse because I wanted to warm up a little bit more before I put these babies outside and even though the fix probably would be fine but you know I want them to get a little more established even though they're, they're looking really good look at all this new growth on here yeah they're doing really good so I'm expecting to um to have some pretty nice figs fig trees and Thank you again, bro, for the cuttings. Um, thank you for the fig cutting. Thank you for uh, my uh, key lime, because I really, I was so devastated. You know, if you go back and look at my videos, that was one of the biggest um, fruit trees. It was so wide and the leaves were gorgeous. It was just like, it had a lot of, um, a lot of uh, stickers on it or thorns on it but it was so it was just growing immense it was just huge it was just so wide and it was growing pretty and so fast and it just it just started dying you know so I don't know if maybe it was too much cold outside because we did have all those changes in the temperatures um, I don't think it was the cold though I felt like it had something on it for a while because um, when it came the first when I first got it it had a little like powder on that um, it looked like powdery type mildew or something that was on it and I would often try to spray it to see if that would help um, and I guess that along with the cold maybe just did it in I don't know but I think Kiki is done we'll see I'm still trying to work with her um, but in the meantime we have full Yay! So, this is a Big Bro, Big Bro Bull um, for our new key lime. We also have our cutting for our figs. So, thank you again, Big Brother. I appreciate that. Um, I really do appreciate it. I also want to just say I always appreciate your uh, support. I really do. You were like one of the first ones out the gate that really supported my channel and I appreciate that bull. Cause your channel is pretty big in my opinion. You, you're a bigger channel and um, you have a wider audience and you always made time to come and check my channel out, always. So I appreciate that. You didn't have to do it and I thank you bro for that. Thank you for these good cuttings cause we about to get some trees. Um, and I'm excited about that. So excited. My son loves figs. So I'm excited. I haven't really eaten a fig myself outside of Fig Newtons and I did like, you know, I like Fig Newtons. So I expect these to be absolutely delicious and um, the quality I'm sure is awesome. So again, if y'all haven't checked out the Bull's Garden, go check it out. It's not really like just a garden. It's a food forest if we want to keep it real. He, he does Espelari. I hope I'm saying that right now. Espelier, Espelier, okay, Espelier, I think that's what it's called. 
He asked Belier um, some of his trees, and that is so cool. That's something that I think I would be interested in trying in the future. You learn a lot from Bull. He has chickens. You know, we miss Ike, <laughs> but we got we got Uncle Pappy, so that that's okay. <laughs> But thank y'all for that. Um, if y'all go check him, his channel out again, and I'll put the, the email of his um, his email on the screen as well, so you can check out his cuttings and things that he's selling because y'all know it's gonna be all quality, baby. It's gonna be quality. This is from Big Bro. So thank you again, Bull. I appreciate that. And we do have one more item in the mail call, okay? So in the mail call, um, I've been kind of looking for items um, just because these days you you always want to be ready. Let's just say that. Well, you wanna be ready. No matter what the circumstance is, you don't wanna be caught without um, things you need supplies you want to be prepared you never know what's gonna happen you know we got to keep our eyes open we got to keep our ears open you know all that good stuff keep your head on swivel all that good stuff okay because um, you just don't know what's gonna happen so you want to be prepared just in case now um, I know a lot of people have um, been doing the different types of generator videos and things like that for me um, until I am ready to get like a big generator which I probably will be getting one soon um, because they actually put a lot of our we in my neighborhood we were a pilot um, for the electric company to put a lot of our electrical lines underground so we don't have those outages like we used to because part of being part of the pilot our lines are underground we don't have to worry about a lot of trees falling on our lines and things like that um, and I've noticed we have less outages and if the lights go out they come like switch right back on um, so right now I'm not getting a big old jackery and all that stuff but I will be getting it in the future in the meantime I did find a product that is I think would be affordable to those who may live in a smaller space or just want to start off with something smaller in terms of being prepared in case you need um, electricity and I thought this product was cool I saw the reviews, you know, I always check the reviews when I look down um, items up um, that I may be interested in. And on Amazon, this particular product had great reviews. Um, there's different levels of the product. You can get uh, bigger ones or whatever, you know. There's always levels that you can get for, for these types of products. But I got this one. And it's called Smart Power. Smart Power. y'all can see that so it actually it's a portable power station and it's small and it comes with a solar panel that's like the one thing that I really wanted um, when getting it um if I'm going to get these type of products I'm going to get something that has a solar panel I'm not going to get something that you just plug up because you can plug this one up into the wall as well. Um, but I'm, I want a solar panel. And so if I'm going to get these products, um, one thing that we can depend on right now is solar. Okay, those gas generators, when the gas prices are going up outrageously, that don't, that don't interest me. I don't want a gas generator like that. Okay, because you can't hardly afford to put gas in your truck now to put it in a generator. No, we're gonna go solar. Okay, we're gonna go solar. Anything that's free, free 99. You know, that's what I like. So the sun is free at this time. <laughs> right now, it's free. You know, they charge us for water, but uh, right now, the sun is still free. So, um, we're gonna go with a good old solar panel just to make sure we have this um, 
we are able to use this. And I'm just um, going to show you what's in here. I haven't used this. I haven't, um, I just really opened it yesterday to see what it looked like. I have been charging it a little bit um, in the socket on the wall, but this is what it looks like, y'all. Look how small it is. Like, a lot of people had great reviews for this. Great reviews. It says it has a battery warranty of five years. And, it, of course, it uses a lithium battery um, because it's with solar. Look how cute and small it is. You can take it with you, you know, put it in your bug out if and stuff, you know, because, you know, I'm building a whole bug out system. <laughs> I got a whole bug out supply um, area. Easy, easy to take with. You don't have to do a whole bunch of unhooking this and unhooking that and trying to drag from gas with you or, or a giant solar panel or anything. Look how teeny this is. And um, in a dire situation, I think this is something that you probably would want that's easy. Um, I think I'm going to probably get a couple of more of these. Why not? Okay, so you can have like a little station system or at least one for each person. I think it's smart. They were not very expensive, about 30 something, which is cool because it has um, features where you can plug it in. Like I said, it comes with a little, let me pull this out. It comes with a little cord, different cords. And you can use this one to hook to the back here and plug it into the wall with a USB, you know, adapter. Um, it also has a USB port here, or you can stick your phone in to charge. Um, it also has, looks like it's a flashlight, and other little ports here as well. And like I said, it's just a handy thing, you know, if you, just are more concerned about being able to communicate and stay aware of what's going on around you. Plug your good phone up in here. You do it. it works on solo. Mm -hmm. Now, um, if it's like a complete total, you know, situation, I'm not gonna speak on that. But you know, the cell phones don't work no more. I don't know. At least we are gonna have some light. We can hook other items to this. Whatever, you know. So. I thought it was good, you know, as a first um, first time product to try out for a power station. It's cool. And it's it's affordable and it's portable. It's not hard. It comes with a solar panel. It's just a nice little cute size solar panel, as you can see. Just the right size for this, but it's a solar panel, y'all. All of this, the station and a solar panel for around 30 some dollars. You can't beat that in my opinion because solar panels usually cost a lot. They usually cost a lot, but you get the product plus the solar panel. That's something you didn't get with the Jackery. You have to buy the solar panel separate. Um, a lot of those type of products, you have to get the solar panel separate. This comes with the solar panel, 30 some dollars, okay? Um, also comes with not only solar panel but these are actually what hooks in the back in these three ports those three ports at the bottom those circles they're lights so you can have the lights you'll make sure you always have some type of light again this can operate on solar so you should never be in the dark you have three lights that come with it you don't have to use all three at the same time you can, you know, ration them out or whatever you're wanting to do just to make sure that, you know, one, you always have at least one. So if one breaks, you have extra. So that's cool too, that you have three of them and not just one. Plus a solar panel. I think this is going to be a good product, in my opinion. If you just want to start out, you have like an apartment or you have small space or you just want to start trying, you know, what a power station would seem like or get into using a solar panel for the first time. Um, the solar panel on the back also has cords here. It's the same hookup that your, um, here 
where your cork would go to if you were plugging it into the wall. You just plug solar panel into this. Works. And of course you it was packed very well too. Very neat. And I, th I was surprised at how light it was because when I looked online, it seemed like it would be huge or in my mind I would think it would be a huge bulky item but it was not. It was very, very um, well packed, organized. Um, it also comes with a carry bag. Look, so all of this for around thirty some dollars, y'all. You can't beat this. It's a carry bag, and you know this bag is way bigger <laughs> than what you would need for this product. So if you need to put something else in the bag, or maybe walkie-talkies or something, bam, you got that. Okay. It comes with a manual that explains to you what to do, what the ports are for, with diagrams. Um, again, I got this off of Amazon. It has pictures. No, a lot of us like to look at the pictures instead of reading. <laughs> Don't judge me. But, um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It has the pictures that show you how to actually utilize it, put it together, tell you what certain items are for. Um, it's just, it's really cool. I think it's cool. When I saw it, I was like, it's so teeny, but you know, it's cool. You can see here how on this picture, you're able to power the lights in your cell phone. Can you see that? Um, that's pretty cool. It, it also gives suggestions as to how you can use it, which is, again, it's pretty cool. Awesome. I'm even thinking like with these lights, it may help heat up my greenhouse. So I'm thinking like that, you know what I'm saying? With these lights generated from solar power, I can set up the, of course the greenhouse is gonna be hotter. It's gonna get all that good solar energy. Um, if I just set it up in the greenhouse, the lights may even heat up the greenhouse um, overnight. It comes with some little hooks where you can hook the lights up, different places. I'd say this is a win-win product. So if y'all want to try it out, y'all can. I don't get anything from Amazon for suggesting this. I just thought it was cool and I wanted to show you guys that. In case you're looking for something, you know, these storm seasons start coming around soon. If we go from the cold and the freeze, now we're starting to get into tornadoes and some of us are, you know, be experiencing hurricane season soon, as soon as, you know, that warm weather comes. So. It's best to be prepared. And like I said again, even without the weather, there are other issues going on in the world. We need to, you know, just stay prepared, okay? Um, so that's an item I thought would be cool to, um, to show you guys and that I wanted to get for my household. Again, I'll probably get another one of these, maybe at least one more, if not two more. Um, and I'll leave the link in my description as to where I got it on Amazon, okay? So that was all of the um, the items I had for this mail call. I just wanted to show you guys that. Again, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to Garden Sis Tasha, Tasha Oshi Grows. Y'all better check her out. Her TikTok game is fire, okay? She got all that good music, you know, the head bangles, okay? <laughs> Go over there. Also, thank you to my big bro, the Bull's Garden. Thank you so much, Bull, for providing quality cuttings. And we don't have these trees growing out here and doing their thing. He's also just like, to me, it's a motivation to watch his channel and just watch him working in the garden or watch what he's building or whatever he's doing because he's teaching by example. He doesn't always have to say a lot in his videos. He's teaching by example. And like I said, if y'all don't go watch them, y'all don't go check out my sis Tasha, my bro, the bull, we don't have a problem. And I got a gang of squirrels that's ready. They ready, y'all. I got a gang of squirrels that's ready. Let me show you. I got some squirrels. I got some up in the house. That's how, how deep the squirrels are. If you don't check out my fam, we don't have a problem. I told y'all before, 
I don't play with the garden family. Y'all gotta go check them out because I got a gang of squirrels over here in the hood and they ready, they ready, they ready. If you don't check out my garden family, Snowball and Rocky Cousin is coming for you. They're coming to your house. They're sending their boys. I'm just telling you. Snowball and Rocky Cousin. They ain't got no problem with eating your vegetables, digging up your yard. Okay, I'm just telling you. They told me that they need some new territory. Okay, I I'm telling them where you at now. <laughs> Let me stop. Anyway, I do want to thank y'all so much for watching Angel Loves Garden. Y'all ain't sending no squirrels to your house. Unless it's these cute little ones like this, because they're so cute, you know. Nana, you like the squirrel? Look, Nana, like, wait a minute, what? Where you get them from? <laughs> Nana, like, hold up. Uh -uh. We ain't got no squirrels in this house. Anyway. So thank y'all so much for watching Angel Loves Garden. I appreciate you guys always supporting the channel. Um, thank you again to Tasha. Thank you to the Bull. And thank you, Meek. I love your gear. I'll put her link in the description of this video. And thank y'all so much. Y'all, Nana, you want to say night night? Bye bye. You say bye bye, Nana. Nana says, see y'all later. I gotta go get some squirrels. <laughs> Alrighty then, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all stay blessed. Bye-bye.